hello 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 good morning collectives how are you i haven't done a video for you collectives in a while <laughs> i hope everyone is doing really well today it's the scene tarot you guys welcome back welcome back i'm going to do some collective readings today i'm excited i want to see what messages the angels have for you so let's get into it. We're going to draw some messages from this deck here. So yeah. Ooh, okay. We have something here. The Ace of Swords. So, you know, I'm feeling like there's going to be a new change, a new form of change, okay, in your life. I feel like, well, whoever don't have clarity is definitely going to get it, okay? This is something that's definitely coming up. I feel like for some of you felt unjust in your life, and this is something that's really going to change and bring some understanding and a new form of way, all right? Patience is the key, you guys. So I'm feeling like there is a situation where you feel like, um, things are taking a while. Okay. Like whatever you do, things are just not working out. And when it comes to your life, the angels want you to know that patience is the key right here. So be patient with the universe. They're on it. Okay. Fake vibes. You need to be yourself. Um, not like your friends. Okay. So I'm also getting like someone is very insecure of who they truly are within themselves. Like they don't know what they truly want. I feel like right now, this is a perfect time to figure out what you want in life, who you are as a person and what's important to you. All right. Because I feel like for most of most of the energy that I'm picking up here with this card is that everyone is vibing with other people's achievement other people's plans are not really taken or embracing their own ideas or plans because they don't know what they truly want to do all right i'm gonna do three more cards here tell me more angels for this connection collectives please this beautiful day collectives All right, your friends told me everything. So I'm feeling like you trust a lot of people with a lot of personal information, and this is something that you have to be careful about because not every one of your friends are truly your friends, right? And I feel like, you know, a lot of people with this fake vibes here, fakes vibe, you need to be yourself, not like your friends. I feel like, you know, a lot of you are trying to, you know, be on the level that your friends are on or something about that. Um, you know, trying to, to share a lot of information with your friends and they're sharing a lot of information that you told them about what you're sharing. Okay. I feel like I'm, I'm also getting like someone told you something that was very personal and this might have been shared to people that wasn't you know authorized to know it so you need to be careful about that as well okay so let me see here be careful what you tell people that's what i'm hearing all right so i have this will change on your vacation so i feel like you're going to get some answers on your vacation or on a trip that you're planning to take i feel like for some of you you want to move away i'm also getting moving um I'm moving slowly towards you. So there's this love also coming in or opportunity coming towards you that's moving very slowly. I feel like for some of you, you're thinking about, okay, this is something that you're passionate about, but I'm thinking like you're probably losing faith that this situation is coming towards you, okay? I'm so proud of you. That's what I'm also seeing here. Like someone is watching you, looking at you and they're like, damn, you know, I am so proud of you. You're everything that I ever wanted. Uh, your achievements, it, you know, everything that you ever said you wanted in life, you're going after it. This is such an attraction. You know, this person is so proud of you. All right. Um, you didn't do right by me. So I found someone else that did get over it. Boo, you're a mess. Okay. So whoever you broke up with or left or have this negative feelings towards, this is what you're saying towards them, um, you know, but I feel like that person is like watching you and still saying, look, I am proud of you. Whatever you choose, 
I'm still proud of you. All right, so let's move these up here and see what some tarot messages has for you today. All right, let's see. Tarot, please. What's going on for the collectives? What messages do you have for the collective, please? Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this person is definitely moving slow. Or this opportunity, this legacy that you guys are building. Like something that you're trying to put money in. And it's just, this, this is like moving very, very slow. But I see that everything is going to work out. I see that you're going to profit from this situation. This could be love. This could be... Um, a career basis, something that you're planning for the future to leave behind for your family, for your children, for your partner. Could be opening a business. And you're like, this is moving very slowly, but I see that you're going to end up in luxury. Like you're going to have a lot of, you know, comfort, a very comfortable life. Okay, there's a lot of print manifestation here. I feel like a lot of meditation is needed for a peace of mind. And I feel like the universe is in this as well, trying to guide this situation. So just believe in that. And I feel like, you know, this is going to happen very slowly once you let go, very fast, once you let go of the doubt, okay? The doubt and the stress that comes with it. Okay, something fell on the floor. What is this? A card fell, you guys. All right, it is the Six of Pentacles. So there's going to be a lot of balance here. So, you know, I feel like for some of you had to give a lot for this situation. Um, and when you gave a lot, they, the opportunity didn't come fast enough. It's like you were losing a lot out of this, losing a lot. But it's going to be some balance here that's going to come back to you. So whatever you're spending, you're going to get, gain back here, okay? And whatever you're putting in, you're going to gain it back in different ways. It's going to come right back to you. Probably not from the same source, but from different ways. You're going to be like, wow, I just spent $200 and someone just gave me $200 um, the other day. Or I got a coupon for $200 or <laughs> something like that. But this legacy, though, is definitely um, very, very slow. And I'm seeing like someone is like need to focus on themselves, focus on their money, um, very much watch their spending. Okay. They're spending too much spending. I feel like this situation, you need to very much, um, build yourself up, build your money up, be kind of, um, not selfish, but, um, very tight until it's okay to spend the money like spend make sure you have like triple of what you're spending okay in your bank account before you spend anything you're saying well i have four months of this so i could i can afford to spend you know one month of it if that makes sense i'm getting some kind of um energy here where i'm feeling like someone is alike way too much alike and you guys are both in your energy about something this could be about love that's coming through since it's a collective okay i'm just reading the cards here it's not no this is not love this is not it's just everything so i'm feeling like two energies here are definitely alike i'm um, getting twin flame or soulmate connection here there's a conflict that needs to be addressed here i'm getting like um there is something that's going on this person is afraid of talking to you about and the strength card is needed okay so there will be a conversation as soon as this person definitely decides to make that move and feel confident enough to approach you about this so what are they approaching them about please what's the next card for this one so i want to know moving forward it's about a cycle a cycle that keeps happening like you guys are not moving forward towards each other but this person feels like, you know, working with you or being with you is very good for them. Like they need you in their life. There's a lot of luck here. There's a lot of opportunity that you guys can build together. They see good things between you and them, you know, moving forward in the future. The Wheel of Fortune. 
you know but you um are feeling like this person is very cold like this person got something going on here this person might you know um play you or take your money or do something that they're not supposed to do i see a kind of a blockage here okay but i also see the ten of swords in the back okay where i'm feeling like you know you're going to get over a lot of fear or let go of a lot of disappointments in your life in the present okay let's see what else what's the clu conclusion for this read in please for the collectives Okay. Wow. Thank you, angels. All right. So we have the three of wands here. We have the eight of cups, page of swords, judgment, and the knight of cup. All right. So I feel like this um, person is thinking the opportunity of sail the boat um, when it comes to getting back with you. Or there was a three opportunities that this person waited so long to take. This could be your energy. I felt like, you know... Um, this person feels like, okay, well, those situations are over. There's no way I can go back to that. I waited too long to make a decision about those three opportunities, or it's just that they are seeing you moving on with someone else. And I definitely feel like when you moved on from this situation, like you haven't looked back, honestly, but this person wants to you know, like come in, probably be friends, go out, have some coffee. I'm nothing sexual, but it could be that way if you decide to you know pursue this person this way this person is coming off as you know somebody that is very um you know childlike you know not really um ready for committed anything um there is no decision um about this moving forward what they truly want from this situation but i feel like eventually they will get um in their feelings and approach you and offer you a friendly cup okay offer you a knight of cups they so they want to see where things go with you romantically all right so this is what i'm seeing here so someone is definitely watching you um you know this could be somebody at work obviously um if you don't know who this is they're like so proud of you this is what i'm hearing moving very slowly towards you or not moving at all for some of you in this uh the the, the queen and the king of pentacles very very like still even the knight of pentacles very slowly very shy that's what i'm hearing here you could be dealing with the um an earth sign a virgo a taurus or um a capricorn even you could be dealing with a scorpio um cancer or pisces energy as well Or you could be dealing with a Gemini, um, Aquarius, or a Libra energy. Tell me more. Any messages? Wow. This one is playing the victim. So somebody here is in your life playing the victim card, not taking responsibilities of what truly happened. Um, this doesn't have to be a new person. This could be somebody from the past coming through here that played the victim card and try to put everything on you didn't take responsibilities and this is why this person might be taking forever to come towards you and to show their affection then we have i loved you but you wasn't ready for someone like me wow Yeah, this person definitely wasn't ready. This could be your energy coming through here. Telling, you know, this person that I loved you, but you wasn't ready for someone like me. And this person is definitely coming off as a childlike person. Like someone that is not ready for a form of commitment, but I feel like they met you and you are ready for a committed relationship. And, you know, they just were stuck into something that they weren't ready for. I'm also getting, how do you feel about me? They're not sure how you feel about them. They want to know here. And then they're like, you're so sexy. So, you know, clearly they're watching you. They're, they're around you. You're probably not just, you're just not looking or giving this person the time of day here. Or you have mutual friends. 
why am I getting like some of you might not want to have this conversation with this person like this person tries to bring it up but you're like brushing them off all the time I'm going to Miami all alone I need this for my for me so somebody's planning a trip here to go to the south maybe a Miami trip going on some kind of trip if it's not Miami and you need something for yourself cold as ice this person has no emotions here, okay? Like, somebody is cold as ice um, towards someone, not showing any emotions. This person's not, like, they don't know how you feel about them. But I'm also seeing, like, this person is blocked, you know, um, in the Knight of Swords. Very cold energy here. This could be the person that is very shy, that you know they all feel all this way about you but they're not really telling you how they truly feel they're just cold or appear to be cold and then we have planning a future with you a legacy wow and then we have confidence and trust okay tell me more please I feel like this like confidence card is like very important. If you don't have confidence, how could you have com how could you have trust? And then he says wedding in June. Oh my goodness. Wedding in June crest question mark actually. And then we have a liar. So clearly somebody lied in this connection here, okay? And there is a wedding in June or some kind of wedding or someone got married in June. Or some kind of wedding. Maybe you go into a wedding in June that you guys are going to see each other at. Um, or somebody's talking about a wedding, a summer's wedding, you guys, in June. Any more messages? Wow, so this like flipped out of the deck. And it says, You're my world. You make me feel complete. I need you. So clearly, we have two different energies here. Someone is like, really don't know where this person is vibing. There's going to be a clarity, though. With all of this that you don't know about, there's going to be a form of clarity because you're going to find out who this person is. Some of you already know because this Ace of Swords is here, which is telling me that you are going to find out all the answers within this. There's going to be a new form of change here. It just depends on how, what you do with this change. But collectives, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. I just like my spit got stuck in my throat. Oh my God. TMI. But <laughs> I hope this resonates, you guys. And um, like the video if it did. Um, and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.